Good afternoon. I'm just waiting for confirmation that we're live. Those of you watching the replay, I think, oh, it just stopped. Now it's coming back. Are we live? We are live on Facebook. Hello, everyone. Are we on YouTube? Yes, we are live on YouTube. Bobby says go. <laughs> Thanks, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby, for being my channel cheerleader and getting everybody excited before the video. We usually come to my live videos about a half an hour before and start chatting it up. Um, so we are live on Facebook and YouTube. The chat you see in the chat right now is from YouTube. I can also see the chat from Facebook. Hello, Eddie Sherry on Facebook. Um, and on Twitch, not many of you go to Twitch. I haven't even been to Twitch in months, <laughs> but I'm live on Twitch right now too. So today, oh, let me see. Can you see me? Hello. So today we're going to do a Valentine project. I have so many Valentine projects in my head. Some of them are in design space and I'm really, really excited about these. Um, so this one, um, I don't know, it's it's inspired from my clear cube, which I will, here, let me show you this. So it's inspired from this. This is my winter snow globe. Oh, we got that word on here. I was teaching an OBS class to my Patreons and there's a test. See, right there it says test. I was showing them how to add text. Let me delete that, okay. Um, so it was inspired by this and I'm thinking this would be a lot of fun for Valentine mailbox. Um, you know, when we're kids, we bring a mailbox to collect our Valentines. Now I had some other ideas for this too. Um, but with this, it doesn't open up. There's no way to open this without, um, cutting it open. So we needed a fix for that, so I made it. I also put a slit in the top. I didn't make anything for the inside, but you could make some hearts, confetti or something. But the inside is where you're gonna put the Valentines. But I had an idea, so not just for a school mailbox, to have it for your home. For your family, I have a couple ideas. Either you can have a secret Valentine if you got a lot of kids or family members to kind of put a card in there and then on Valentine's Day, you can all sit around and open them. Or um, every day in February or for the week before Valentine's or from the first to Valentine's Day, put in a little note in there for your loved ones in the house just something that you love about the person or something you like about the person or give them a compliment. Don't sign your name. Uh, if there's only two of you, you might know who it's from. But what I'm thinking is something for kids to do too and to teach each other to um, always give each other compliments and tell people what you like about them because that's one thing we don't do enough of is we tell people what we don't like but we don't tell people what we love about them or what we like about them. We don't compliment enough. So uh, making a really pretty box for Valentine's Day, setting, you can set it, make it a table centerpiece or you, know, you can put it anywhere and slip something in there and then you can all sit around and read it to each other. Um, so I thought that would be fun to make. All right, are you guys, do you guys want to make that? I do. And I also wanted to show you this. This is Mary, Mary Ann Kilpatrick. Um, I made this frame. I shared this with the people who support my channel. So I've already made the frame and I've already made these split butterflies, but then she arranged the split butterflies in this arrangement and put them in the frame. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea. So I went ahead and posted this. Um, so I made the butterflies in this arrangement so you don't have to arrange it yourself like Marianne did. Um, so you can just cut out the paper. I already had the frame made, so I cheated. But I made the butterfly paper to fit the frame before you put the frame together so the sides will go on top of the frame. You can see here, I cut it and I didn't do a good job. But if you make it from the start and make the frame, 
and the butterfly at the same time, it'll turn out much better. So this goes to all Patreon supporters of $1 or more because they are older files. I just rearranged them. So if you support at $1 on Patreon, and I shared the link all over on Facebook and everywhere to where you can uh, get the files for this. There's two different files, one for the butterfly and one for the frame. You'll just have to cut them together and they will fit together. Um, so I wanted to share this with you. And all of you that are on Facebook and YouTube supporters for $4.99, you also get this. And it's already been posted. Um, so let's get started. I don't, my son asked me, how long is this video going to take? I'm like, I don't know until I'm done. So let's get started. Okay, here's my cube. I'll put this off to the side. So I made this out of glitter and the base I made black. This is black craft board. We use the scoring wheel. Oh, and I also, this is gonna go let's see, uh, on the sides here. So it has a little stand type thing. This has the lid and I wanna share with you, with, this is Cricut cardstock glitter cardstock and when you cut this um, you put it face down on a purple mat and score um, this way otherwise you cannot see the score lines notice you can't see the score lines so you have to flip it over and then you can see them this way and that's the easiest way to do it I also have a question for you guys that I need <coughs> excuse me I need some answers. Okay, these are all the sides. We're gonna put this together in just a minute. On the sides, the other clear box was clear acetate, but this time I decided to use uh, my foil acetate. This is a pastel, it's a pastel pink, and that one has stripes, and you can't see this one. Hold on. You see the design on there now? Oh, and you can see my camera and my light and my thumb. Um, so I have two with this design and two with the stripes. So I'm going to put those on the sides. And you know what? I don't have the one with my top with a slit in it. Oh, there it is. It was the, the circles, right? Yeah, that's it. I got it. <laughs> I forgot which one we did. Okay. So then the one with the slit in the top are circles. And, yep, it's just the silver circles. But, of course, you can use whatever you want to use. Okay, now my question is, I have too many sides. I, I couldn't decide on what to do. And... So actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you um, on the file because you can't see it as well because that goes on there. Can't see it. Let me take you over to Design Space. Um, okay, so here's the file. And as you can see, you make one for each side and then the lid I just added some hearts. You can put them in any arrangement. You can do what you want with that. So my question is, I have five things that I liked from Design Space. I think they're all in access. And I don't know which to use. So, okay, I'm going to ask you which one to delete. So I'm going to number these. So then you tell me the number, hi, Mamie, you want me to delete. So we have the love, let's say that's number one. The cupid is number two. The heart and arrow is number three. The cupid is my bestie is number four. And sweet Valentine wishes is number five. And I'm gonna make this box by what you tell me. So we have love, one. Cupid, two, heart, three, 
Cupid is my bestie is four and sweet Valentine wishes is five. Which one not to use? And I'm looking at Facebook and YouTube comments. So the ones not to use. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm getting some ones and four. And some say drop three, use four. So we're saying the ones to delete. Seems like it's going between one and four. Thank you for subscribing. If you subscribe during the live video, your name shows up on the screen. Okay. So it looks like we're not going to use Cupid as my bestie. Okay. I think number four is winning to drop. Now, if you have my file and you don't want to use these, all you have to do is hide them or delete them so you're not charged if you don't have access. Now, Sharon's Craft Room on YouTube says I need the black and red on the two sides, which is kind of true because the bottom is black. Yeah, four and five balance each other out, so maybe have these on opposite sides. I kind of agree, too. Like, I, I'm thinking now we need some black. Okay, so now we've decided we want some black. Um, then we have to get rid of one of these. So now we're going to drop either one, two, or three. Because the base of the thing is black, so having some black in there is good. So now one, two, or three. Remove one, drop one. Okay, we're getting lots of drop in ones. Somebody says change the color of one. Drop the heart. Okay, I got an idea. What if we make the number one, the L-O-V-E, in black and drop the Cupid? Is that what? Because most people wanted to drop the Cupid. The Cupid is my bestie, the number four. Okay, you guys are getting a design space class. Uh, oh, but I can't do that because I've already cut it. <laughs> But that might be pretty to do that. I've already cut this, so I'm not going to cut anymore. Otherwise, this video will be three hours long. Um, but that's a good idea. Okay, for the file, I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to make it so this is in black. I'm going to contour these out. And 
and contour the arrows out. That was only one click. Make this. We're selecting it over here. We're going up to the top for the color. Um, I don't know. I don't know which color to make it. I have three colors of black, and there's a reason for that. These are black vinyl. This is black car, um, craft board, and then these are black glitter paper. So I need this letter. I'm going to drag it up to the vinyl black. There we go. Do you guys like that better? Uh, Jill says, wouldn't a hole in the top work better for getting the Valentine's in and out? There's a lid on the top. You take the lid off. The slit is in the lid. So you can take the Valentine's out. Oh, red letters, black arrow. We can switch that. I can just drag this down there and drag that up. Yeah, I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, uh, let me save this. Janet? Yes. Can you cut me <laughs> the black arrows? Black arrows, yes. In my Valentine box? I'm, I'm going to temporarily change the color of the black arrows to purple. So the reason I do this, guys, is so when she goes to cut these, they won't be on the thing with cutting other vinyl. So when I click make it, those are in one all by itself. It's it's number 18, mat number 18, because this is a big project. So just the uh, removable black vinyl and those purple arrows use black vinyl. Okay. Okay, but we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of the box together. Uh, so you guys might hear my cricket going. Let's go back overhead. Okay. Yeah, it does look a whole lot nicer with that black. See, you guys are amazing. All right, let's move, oops, the eye to my letter right there. There we go. Um, Okay, this has, I'm gonna go ahead and fold these. I'm gonna use my ruler to help me fold these. And you'll notice this has a score line box in here. Uh, it has score lines here and in here. Can you see that? Uh, this score line box is only there for a guide because the sides of the box will be glued onto that area. So you don't want to put anything else inside here. So this is the base. So if you have questions, put them all 
um, end caps. What size? This is the size of the finished project. It's about eight to nine inches. And if you select it all in design space, you can make it smaller if you want to make a smaller box. So these all have score lines here. And so we have all the score lines folded. And I used craft board on this. And we're going to add glue to these tabs. See these tabs? We're going to add glue to those. Make sure you put glue at the edge and then fold it in and then fold that down on that. So you, it's hard to see because it's all black. So you have a nice corner, okay? And then, but first, before we glue that together, let's go ahead and glue the black glitter paper, which of course you can use anything you want. You don't even have to cut these if you just want to use this. Or you could make them red. So I'm using uh, Art Glitter Glue. I get this from MayMayMadeIt.com. And for those of you that have the file, you'll be able to watch this and do it along with me. And if I go too fast for you, then you can pause the video and do it with me. So we'll be crafting buddies. And I have not put this together yet, this box with a lid. I did test cut the lid, and good thing I did because I had to make it bigger. <laughs> so I did that earlier today. Janet, my assistant, is helping me test cut. Thank you to all the people who support my channel. Helps pay for my assistance so I can create more files for you. Yeah, the the project for this, the files, the, they're already been posted. If you support my channel on YouTube as a YouTube member, then you um, can get it uh, on my community page. And because this is glitter cardstock, you can see that white area there. So I'm just gonna take a black marker. Um, this is a medium point black marker and I'm just gonna go along the edge and make it black. So it gets rid of that white line. 
Can you guys see that white line right there? That's the edge of the paper. So I'm just taking a medium point Cricut marker and going along the edge. Oops. It's okay if you make a mistake and get it on here because I cut a piece of red glitter paper for the floor. Okay, so now we're gonna finish our stand. I'm gonna put glue on these corners here. And then we're gonna fold in that corner and then push this up. And then that white line from the side of the paper We're gonna hide with the marker. And we're gonna do the same thing on all four corners. And I'm gonna try to... This um, is going to be on my... Um, page with all my projects, the one you need the password for. I don't think it's there yet, but we will be adding it there. No, I didn't do that side, the black. And if you're watching the replay, you can probably watch it in higher speed. You can change the speed you watch YouTube videos. You hit the little gear, or you can just slide it and skip ahead. Like if you know how to do this part, skip ahead. Welcome, Michelle. She's a new member. You now get to use those fun emojis. Can someone show her those emojis? As a YouTube member only, those are available. I wish they were available to absolutely everybody. But YouTube doesn't do that. Okay, so now we got our stand. And we're going to, after we make the cube, we're going to glue that on there. Okay, so let's go ahead and start doing this. This is a side one. So I forgot which one. We're not doing the bestie one. So that's this one we're not doing. I think, oh, we need these hearts though. We'll have to say your bestie is my keep it as my bestie for another one. I'm putting the pin back in my glue so it doesn't dry out. Usually I remember that the next day and then I have to clean it out really good. Uh, yes, you could do this box for different occasions. I actually have a Another box, like my winter one, it's actually, um, you can't see it all. It's all, it's, it's all, it's all under here. It was ready to go. I was going to do that box this week, and I'm like, I had all these Valentine's ideas all of a sudden. So I'm like, well, I got to do Valentine's first. But that, this goes in my spring box. It's 
it's a tree and it stands up. It's really cute. And I have a bird bath for it. Look at my bird bath. Isn't it cute? And it has a little red bird. And it stands up. That's my spring box. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that video. Okay. So. Um, look at that. Woohoo! We got black. Let's just go ahead and make this one since it's ready. Um, hmm. We're going to have to take, I don't want to waste that. I, we might be wasting it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead. You know what? I'm not going to do that one yet. Sweet Valentine wishes. And when we're putting this on, we got to remember not to put it all the way to the edges because the outer edge of this is going to be glued inside the box. Oh, and if I wanted, I could have glued these on the inside of the box. I would have had to mirror them. And I didn't mirror them, so we're not doing that. Let's go ahead. You know what? Can we do this all at once? I need some room. No, hold on. I'm going to try to do something I've never done before live on video. That's never a good idea, guys. But. We learn from our mistakes, and hopefully you learn from my mistakes. Does that look even? Is this how it's supposed to look? Let me look at the file. I sometimes have to go look. I think that'll work. Okay, I have a piece of Cricut transfer tape. I'm just gonna use the same tape for all of the images. Okay. There we go. Let me get my scraper. So I'm burnishing this down. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to put it on that actually yet. So then we're gonna take this off. Oops, there's the eye. Pull this flat. If you've not used vinyl before, pull this flat back. And if some of it is sticking, like this little letter right here is sticking a little more, just push it down a little more. Sometimes you can go from a different direction. There we go. And then we'll have to take this one off. Now that I'm scraping this, I can see the letter through, the word through it. I don't, well, you can, but I can see the. The more intricate it is, the harder it is too. See that intricate part is gonna be harder. I think we'll go from this side. And the flatter it is, the easier it is. 
like that piece wanted to come up, I just kind of pushed it back down and flattened that out more. There we go. So now we're going to put this, and I'm putting it so the stripes are sideways. Of course, you can do anything you want. You can just use clear if you want. Oh, you're right, Jamie. I just saw your message. Valentine needs to be more to the left. Well, it's a little too late for that. Okay, I'm gonna put this down. Let me see. I know you guys probably can't see the oh a little lower. Okay. This is my Cricut scraper. I love this one. There we go. So we have one done. Isn't that fun? All right, let's get going. Uh, why do I, oh. Well, let's, I guess I'm doing that one on the same stripe because I'm gonna have those on the opposite sides. That's the top. Okay, I'm thinking of how I'm going to do this. I'm going to take off this. And I um, guess I'm going to waste it. Maybe. Oh, I can stick it on this. Maybe. If it's not all stuck to itself. Not sure I'll ever use it again. Oh, that's the actual paper for this. All right, I am going to move this piece, put this here, scrape that onto there. Uh oh, these arrows are hard. So I'm going to start with the arrow part and not the end of the arrow. Okay, these parts were harder to do with the tail because they're smaller pieces. So if you start that way, it's really easy. So we are going to look at my file and see which way these go. All right, so the arrows go down and I'm going to try to center this. Here. Uh, is it best to burnish from the front or the back? I don't know. I just do whatever I need to do. I've always done it from the front, I think. But then if it doesn't come up, then I do it from the back. And on this project, I'm doing both. Doesn't hurt. I'm gonna start this in with the arrows. Hmm. 
Oops. Nope. Uh oh. It's not even. Let me see if I can fix it. Or it just might not be on there even. I'm just going to leave it. It'll be off to the side a little bit. Notice I'm still using the same piece of transfer tape as I did on the first one. Okay, so next this will be easy. We've got a Cupid. Thank you for everybody who's answering questions being asked. I really appreciate that. Thank you for everyone who's liking the video, subscribing to my channel, sharing the video. So when I put it down, I kind of lay it so the middle goes down and then you go out. Are there any people who have never used vinyl before? Now when you pull this back, you pull it flat. And we got this one. Natalie on Facebook has never used it. Are there people here who have never used paper before? I know I have subscribers who have never used paper before and some who have never used vinyl. I like to use them both. Um, let me see which way this is. Alrighty. Oh, we're not quite done with the vinyl yet. Almost. Um, let me find circles. This is something I did print and cut. Look, that's my mom and stepdad on there. Black and white picture. I printed on red paper. That's going to be in a project probably next week. Okay, so now this is the top with a slit. And we have hearts. We have all these that we've used. And I'm just kind of losing my one of my hearts. I think I'm just going to use two hearts for this one. And you know what? I'm just going to lift them off like stickers. 
Um, I'm just going to put it here in the center. Flip this one off. And I'm going to put it on the other side of my slit. So that'll be the top. Okay, now let's put the box together. Okay. I need all of you glitter papers to come to the front of the class. Okay, this is the lid. Let's go ahead and make the lid. So the lid is made a lot like the other piece that we did on the bottom of the stand. So we fold on these score lines here and then fold these two tabs. There's a tab here and a tab here and here. But we have to glue this in here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna add glue in here. Uh, I am just using, somebody on Facebook said they haven't put vinyl on paper. Is there a specific transfer to use? I just use Cricut transfer for everything, but you have to make sure it's not the Cricut Strong transfer. Cricut Strong transfer is only for textured vinyl. Have you guys seen that? It's amazing or for glitter vinyl. So I just put some glue around there and I'm doing this with the hearts facing down because I want those hearts on the top. Although you could do the hearts this way. It's just really your preference. I don't feel that's enough glue. I did such little lines of glue. I'm gonna add a little more glue. And there we go. There, so there's our lid. Oh, no, not yet. We gotta put glue on each edge and you have to put it a line like right on the edge so you get a really nice corner. And then we're gonna fold that down like that. Wipe that glue off. Now there's also white you see there you can take a red marker and just go across there with a red marker and that white will be gone uh chris nunamaker is asking about the liquid glue versus the red liner tape you could totally use the red liner tape if you like red liner tape use it um the reason i started using more glue is because i make a lot of mistakes and with the glue, you can move it around a little bit. Like you have a little workable room before it dries. It dries quickly, but you have enough room to get it on there straight. And with the red line tape, that red line tape is really strong. Once you stick it on, it's stuck. It's really great tape. But I tend to make a lot of mistakes. Oh, and this, you know what? Callie, can you get me my wonder clips? The red line tape might be really good for this glitter on glitter because now this isn't sticking. I could try, um, I have my hot glue gun right here. So I might need to use that with this glitter, but I'm gonna try this. So I have these wonder clips, got from Amazon. And it's just gonna hold it there until it dries. So I'm gonna re-glue these. Because the glitter is harder to stick.
And I'm putting more glue, little extra glue here, and stick it with the clip. Use the wide clip. Hi, Janet. Hi. Thank you. You're welcome. Here. Okay, so we're going to let this dry. And I might need to use my glue gun for the rest of it. Okay, so now we have all these pieces. Um, I have to remember which way they go. I'm gonna bend these on the score line. There's four of these that are exactly the same. So I'm just gonna kind of bend them up so we have an idea. There's one side that does not have a score line because the other side gets put towards it. Okay. So I'm just gonna bend this up real fast. Like I said, if you're watching the replay, it's a lot easier to watch in higher speed. Okay, and then this is the bottom that will go right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on there right no I'm not gonna do it yet we'll just wait but we don't need that right now okay here it is no I'm missing a piece I know I had it it's just a square, the plain square piece. Huh? It's the red glitter. Just a square. Do you want? I can cut it real quick if you want. Yeah, the clips, the wonder clips, are actually originally made for uh, fabric instead of pins. That's not it. It's just like this, but it doesn't have any of the score lines. Okay, let me get some tape. We're gonna cut this piece. Actually, I don't think that piece is in this file because I was thinking I didn't. Oh, yeah, there it is. Which one is it? It's this. It's just a square. Oh, it doesn't have any scoring. All right, so I'm going to answer any questions if you guys have questions. Um, it's not this piece. It's a square that is cut out. Does 
So it would look almost like these, but it doesn't have any scoring to it. So I'll go ahead and score these a little better. It should be the same file she has open, unless she canceled it. She probably doesn't leave things open like I do. The Wonder Clips are these clips. They're just little plastic clips and people use them instead of, remember in sewing you always had to pin your fabric? You just use these clips instead of pinning. And I also use them to hold the glue. Now I lost, oh there it is. I lost that piece. Oh, actually, while she's cutting that, we can go ahead and put these in. That's what we'll do. And, oh, should I try using my hot glue gun? Oh, wait a minute. We got to make sure we're putting them in the right way. So this bigger piece is going to be the bottom of the box. So this is the bottom, the one with the biggest piece. So you're going to lay all these out. Let me lay these out first. So the side without the extra piece is going to go on the side. So I'm going to lay one here and then I'm going to lay this one so it's on the top. It's going to go that way. But we're going to flip it over. We're gonna put these pretty side down and make sure the biggest piece, every piece has this long piece and that's gonna be the bottom of the box. So this is gonna be the outside like this. Thank you. This is the piece I couldn't find and I thought I swear I had it, but I lose things. Um, this is gonna go into the middle. And then this is the long piece. So we're putting this on the outside. So the long piece is on the outer edge of the image. And this one is in the middle. And we're gonna glue these little tabs to the middle, okay? Um, I Let's go ahead and do the glue gun. Okay, let's get this out of the way. So I'm just gonna go do this really fast. I should probably put this on high heat and not low. And line it up. Okay, so I'm gonna add Oh wait, oh this is the middle. Oh <laughs> okay, so we're gonna glue this piece here and I think I'm gonna hold it up like this so I can get it edge to edge and see it real well. I put the hot glue gun on high so I have more time before it dries. Whoops, come on. Didn't have time before that one dried. There we go. 
Okay, so now this one, the longer piece goes on the outside and this goes here. I'm gonna put it on here and see if that helps. You might wanna use the red line tape here if you have that. I'm lining up the edge with the score line here. Callie, can you get me a red marker? Um, or like a thicker marker. Yeah, maybe a Sharpie. Yep, that's fine. glue on my mat. Okay. Okay, so now we have this. Oh, I want that. I'm going to cut this piece to go under because I glued it too far over, I think. Yeah. This one side I didn't glue perfectly. Um. Yeah, I can totally see how he messed that up. So I'm going to fix it. Did you guys know if you use a heat or a glue gun, you can fix it with a heat gun because you can melt that glue oh, and it's on. And this gets really hot. So we're going to try this. I've never done it with glitter paper. Hope I don't melt the glitter. And look at that. Now I can redo it and get it done right. Whoops. <laughs> now I melted some of that glitter or glue. Okay, I'm gonna re-glue this. Okay, and so how many people knew that you could fix, or how many people didn't know you could fix hot glue? I'm gonna glue this on, because I have a protective mat, a glue gun mat here. So I'm gonna put that that way. How many did not know you could fix a glue gun with a heat gun? That glue gun is not permanent. And that goes down there. So I'm doing the side. Okay, Melody, get it on there right. Go to the score line. Okay. If you 
feel like it's still not. I'm gonna warm up that glue. This one is a Wagner glue gun or heat gun I got from Amazon. Okay, I think we're good now. Well, almost. I think I like the regular glue better because I don't, well, it is going to be covered up with the lid. So I'm going to leave it. But you might be better off with just regular glue and then use some clips. You could use some office binding clips to hold down the glue. I'm going to let this go for this time because it will be covered up by the lid. But on the other boxes, it's not when you're not using the box. Okay. So we're going to put these, we're going to lay these out how we want them. And we're just going to glue these on. The middle one is empty. There is nothing that will go on the middle one. The red line tape would probably be better than the glue gun. Okay. Oh, I just got glue on there. It'll wipe off. Keep it like this. I'm going to take this tip off. That tip is great for intricate things, but it doesn't give me enough glue for this one. Sure, you go around the edge and seal. Seal it. Oh my gosh. Kelly, can you get me the baby wipes? I'm getting glue all over my fingers. I'm wiping it everywhere. Thank you. Baby wipes are a must for the craft room. I also use them to clean my Cricut mats. We're almost done with the project. One more to glue.
got a package at the door. Thank you, Callie, for helping the dogs not bark. Okay. And see this one? Okay, you guys, we're learning something new. Glue gun does not work well on this project. And wipe your hands. Yes, it's art glitter glue. Okay, so now I'm gonna fold all these edges in. Okay, maybe glitter gl paper is not the best one to use for this because it does not like to stick as well as regular cardstock. I've never done it with glitter cardstock before. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue all of these edges. See this edge? We're gonna glue it to this edge. So it's gonna stand up like this, and it's gonna glue there, we hope. Hmm, is it gonna glue? I think we need to use the glue gun. We're gonna try it. The glue is really hot right now, which is good. So it won't dry before I get it on there like it was doing earlier. You can also get these little finger things so you don't burn your fingers. I'm gonna try to open these. I love these Cricut scissors. I labeled these for paper, so I have a pair for fabric and a pair for paper. I'm gonna stick these on. So when I do it, I'm not gonna burn it because I'm so afraid I'm gonna burn my fingers. Okay, now we're gonna go to the next one. Yay, glue! Make sure it's hot glue, like hot, hot. I have it on high. I have a feeling this project is not going to be the best project. So I hope you are all learning from my mistakes. This one is not the best. Look at all that glue. I might have to fix that. And you can see where I wiped that with the baby wipe. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to wipe with a baby wipe and a paper towel. All with green fingers. Mm -hmm. We're washing windows. I don't know if that helped. This one goes under that, and that one goes under there. So I'm gonna do this one first. I'm just gonna apply hot glue. The glue is smoking hot. And if you're a beginner with paper crafting, don't use glitter paper. Just use red paper. I'm telling you, this project will be much easier if it wasn't glitter paper. It would just glue with regular glue. There we go. And 
and let's thank goodness we have a lid on this one. I'm never making a cube again with glitter paper. Oh, but that laid so nice there. I love these fingers. Got these on Amazon too. Okay. Now for the edge of the paper, if you can see that, you can go over that with a red marker. So now we have this cube, it has an open top. Oh, you know what I just thought of? This is gonna go on there and you're gonna see that white. We're gonna have to put, will this fit on top of this? Yes, look at that, it'll cover that up. See, I knew there was a reason I did not wanna glue that to that bottom base, because when you make this the cube with the other things, you don't, you glue this on top of here like this because there's no bottom, or there's no lid here. But with this one, we're going to glue this to that. And how are we going to do it? That is the question. I kind of have an idea. Well, let's just try it. We're going to have to use glue. So I'm going to put glue on that, and then I'm going to do it this way. You guys, I'm thinking as I'm going. I have not made this project ahead of time. Let's put the glue so it doesn't cool off too fast. made the other cubes. I thought it was a lot like those cubes, but it's not because I didn't use glitter. Ooh, that was hot. Gotta push these corners down really fast. Okay, I think we're good. And then, I'm going to put, this is, yeah, mm -hmm. this, I'm so glad I put in my post to maybe watch the video before you cut it out. I'm going to stick this inside. I don't need these on anymore. Okay, now where's the lid? Oh, we still got our wonder clips on. Okay, you guys, what did we learn today? We learned not to use glitter paper in the box. Awesome, it's done. Isn't that cute? And then you can put, I think, I'm pretty sure you can fit up to a five by seven card in here. And then when you want to take them out, you can take the lid off, take them out. Oh, it looks so much better now. See, you can't even see all the mistakes. But I suggest trying it without glitter paper first. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry that took so long, guys. Um, now, let me see if there's any questions. Read in your chat. Okay, my chat on YouTube is going much faster. Yeah, office supply stores sell those fingers too. 
Well, you know what? When I make mistakes, you guys, I'm not perfect. I, when I do my videos, some people say, oh, you're a professional. They're going to say I was unprepared because I couldn't find that piece. I wasn't unprepared. I thought I had it. I, it might be right here somewhere, but you know what? I'm just a crafter. I just show you guys what I do and I try to inspire you. And to be honest, you guys are much better than I am at crafting. I show you how to do this, give you the file, and then you guys do magic with it. You guys are so awesome making these. I'm just in awe sometimes of what you guys do with my projects. <laughs> Joan is so funny. Fatima said she did her first glue, her first cube in glitter paper. It's kind of hard in glitter paper, isn't it? Uh, Billy is asking, what's the difference of party foil and adhesive foil? Party foil has no adhesive on it. It's more for party decorations that you hang from the ceiling. Um, those like spiral things. Uh, adhesive foil is vinyl with a foil finish. They're completely different. Do you have a room tour of your craft room on your channel? I have three. I actually have, thank you, Dylan. Um, I have one when I bought my house before I moved in. And then I have one after I moved in. And then I have one of my craft room. And then I have more updates of my craft room. Uh, the words I have above my door, can we use it? Yes, they're not my words. They're in Cricut Access. Uh, the Make Something You Love, that is in Cricut Access. It's just a file in Cricut Access. Belinda, uh, she wants to do my accordion car in Valentine's. Well, Belinda, I have a file for you. That is where my heart comes in. That heart I showed earlier. Oh, where's my heart at? I don't know. That's for that. I already have a file. It's ready for you. It has some hearts in it. It's not just like the other ones. So don't make it yet. Uh, I think I'm going to do that video on Tuesday. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I try to do craft videos. So I do have a Valentine uh, one coming up for Tuesday. So, okay, how many people want to use my idea? You don't even have to use my file. You can do whatever you want. But I really like this for the people that missed the beginning. Now, I thought of these to make for school. You know, in classrooms, we always had to make a box to put Valentine's in. But I thought this would be great for your family, for kids to learn to compliment each other or even if it's just two adults to tell each other something they love about each other, stick it in the box. Maybe do it every day for a week before Valentine's Day and then on Valentine's Day, open it up and read them to each other. I think that would be great. And it would be a way to share with your family what you love about them and just maybe even just a compliment because we just don't do enough compliments for each other. But I really like this. I think it'd be fun filled with um, envelopes or even just slips of paper. Get some post-it notes in uh, maybe in pink or something or just cut out some paper, set it next to it, set a little pen next to it. And then when you want to write a little note to somebody in the family, stick it in and then uh, read them out loud together. And it's just a pretty decoration. You could fill it with confetti hearts. You can cut out, uh, party foil is great for confetti. You can cut out a ton of little hearts with party foil and fill the box with it. Yeah, I, I, think, I, I think that would be a great tradition to start for Valentine's Day and just make it about uh, complimenting each other and sharing what we love about each other because, you know, we don't say that enough. <laughs> 
Yeah, it would be great to do it all year. Um, you could take off the Valentine's things and, and put other words on there, put other images on there. Yes, Raylan, it would be good for Thanksgiving for what you're thankful for, what you're grateful for. That would be amazing. Okay, who's going to do it? Who's going to make a box to put this in for Valentine's Day or Thanksgiving? Uh, I, I just think, oh, a classroom. The teacher can make this, not to put Valentine's in. Well, I mean, you could from the kids for Valentine's Day, but uh, to compliment other kids in the class. And you can, as a teacher, you could take the lid off and read them to make sure they're all okay. Because I can see some bad, mean bullies, maybe put something bad in. But um, they don't have to sign it, but it could be like, uh, Sally, I love your hair. Sally has the prettiest hair in the class. You know, just something and have it here. Or you could even make it a suggestion box for uh, business or anything you want, really. Could be a bank, could put money on the sign, uh, like a money sign or, you know, hands off, you know, make a bank out of it. There's so many ideas. I just love the box. So I'm going to be doing some, I have plans for every single season, but I have so many more ideas. I might be making the box a little more. Oh, Janet says at church, that would be great. Conversation hearts would be good. Wedding cards at a reception. Yeah. Uh, does Cricut Maker have a confetti cutout? All you have to do is make a ton of hearts and um, cut them out. You just line them up. Or... You guys, let me show you in Design Space real fast. Okay, so this is the file, but um, before we go, let me change this to black. Uh, we got to change it over here, and I'm not sure which one, so I'm going to go to Color Sync, and I want this to be changed with the other vinyl, so we know that's cut out of vinyl. Uh, and I'm going to save this. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to do confetti. I'm just gonna do a new project without having too many things on it. We're gonna to go to shapes, we're gonna to go to heart. Now, if you want a different shaped heart, you can undo this and kinda of like do that or that or, you know, whatever you wanna do. Let's make it smaller, let's add the grid so you can, okay. Your place. Thank you, D. Lynn, for becoming a member. All right, I don't know what I just did. Okay, let's make this well, about a half an inch. So all you need to do, make one heart. If you wanna make confetti heart, go to make it. Go to apply. Let's put a hundred, see what happens. Oh, wow, we can do a lot more. Let's go to 500. Okay, so now that's too many for one mat. So all I'm gonna do is cut this mat. Here's a mat, no reason to cut that one. I'll just cut this one, and if I want more, I'll cut it again. So I would use party foil because it's amazing for this. Um, and then you could just Cut out that a party for and let it cut. Did you know you could do that? Yeah, Belinda. <laughs> Belinda, I just read your comment. Can't you put one in and then tell it to cut a thousand, for example? Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go back to design space. There are actually projects for uh, the party foil. 
So we're gonna go to cartridges and we're gonna put in party. Uh, here it is, party foil celebrations. So this one is confetti for like a princess. It has like a princess house and little stars and stuff. So party foil makes all of these things and these are all included in access. This would make little confetti. There's football confetti and some stars. These, these would be great. Oh, there's a baseball for Super Bowls coming up. If you're having a Super Bowl party, you can do these and hang them from the ceiling, make some confetti. You guys, I love the party foil. Go get it. Okay, who learned something today? Okay, they want to see both boxes. So here's here's the finished box. It's the glare, sorry. back here's the winter box right there here's the two boxes together the spring box is fun. The bottom of the spring box is a little different. I also have an idea to put lights at the top of the box. It's little spring, you know, little lights. So even though I had all those problems, this kind of looks kind of good, doesn't it? Peekaboo, I see. I was thinking that too, uh, Joan, when I was looking through it. Oh, glad your husband loves it, Annie. There is another video for the winter box. Yes. The winter box has its own video. All right, guys. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you. I get some of my inspiration from you guys like this one. Uh, somebody used my split butterfly, which I've had in my files for a long time and the frame I had in my projects for a long time and then she arranged them this way so I just posted this file for if you're on patreon it's only a dollar to get this file because it's one of my older ones and um, Facebook and YouTube you get it also yeah and if you guys have gotten my mystery boxes not they're not my mystery boxes they're crickets uh but you might have gotten this acetate in a mystery box so um check your supplies you might already have this acetate because i know this acetate was in one of the mystery boxes and that all came from one package of the acetate thank you joan All right, I'm so glad you guys are learning. All right, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining me. And thank you for those of you who have actually watched the entire thing. Amazing. Um, and remember, if you want to do it along with me, you can have it all cut out and you can pause the video and then uh, do what I show you. And then you can skip ahead and do the next step. I love you guys, and I will see you, what is today, Thursday? I'll see you Saturday morning. We are going to do a video, and I'm going to show you how to use the iPad with Design Space. So we're going to go through the iPad and where everything is on that for those of you who only have an iPad. So come with questions. I'll have my iPad on screen, and I'll see you Saturday morning, 11 a.m., Eastern Time on this channel. 
every Saturday. Thanks, guys. Bye.